Do you wanna learn how to create Facebook ads for your affiliate marketing business that actually get results? That are actually gonna allow you to make a ridiculous amount of money? Stay tuned, this is gonna be the best Facebook advertisement training you ever came across for affiliate marketing in general. What's going on fam? Eric Ellis Jr. here, back at it again with another fire ass piece of content. And in this video, we're gonna be covering Facebook ads. Now, we're gonna get right into it, but before we do, my number one recommendation to make money online will be the first thing in the description. And number two, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, so that way you guys can get the daily content about helping you guys get to the next level within your life and your business. Now let's step behind the laptop and let's get right into the Facebook ads business. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to create a profitable uh, Facebook ad for your weight loss products or any products at that. Guys, this, this um, method that I'm going to be teaching you guys, you're going to be able to use with any affiliate marketing niche or offer. And this specific, um, because I'm currently running weight loss ads, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it for weight loss. So this goes for biz up, weight loss, um, in any type of advertisement when it comes to Facebook, especially affiliate marketing, right? So, first and foremost, um, if you guys aren't aware, uh, when it comes to your Facebook ads, there's three parts, right? There's the campaigns, right, which is right here. There's the ad sets, and then there's the actual ads. And we're gonna go ahead and explain what that is in a second, right? Now, first and foremost, um, before we even cover um, this part, I wanna sh uh, show you guys a couple of things, right? So, um, the reason why a lot of people don't get these ads approved is because they don't they don't read the compliance right so just to show you guys i just put up this campaign yesterday i'm testing a whole bunch of ad sets right now i've got 92 unique clicks so far my average click through rate is four four point four three percent and my amount spent is 400 or excuse me 42 dollars and i'll explain what that means in a second but before we get there right we need to find an affiliate offer right so First and foremost, I use ClickBank. You guys might use something else to find your affiliate offers, but an example is uh, uh, once you go to the marketplace and you look in health and fitness, uh, you can go to weight loss. Where is it? Diet and weight loss, right? So guys, uh, the most the you want to pick broad niches because broad niches have the um, broad niches have. Uh, you can scale them right to make a lot of money with these offers. So there's flat belly fix, there's fat disseminator, there's lean belly breakthrough, there's the truth about kinogenic diet, the red tea detox. Guys, do your research. I'm not going to tell you which offer to pick. Um, I've done my due diligence on my offers. I found an offer um, that makes sense to me. And then what happens is a lot of people they try to run right. What happens is once they go ahead and uh, press promote. Is going to go ahead and give you a link right you create a link you get this link guys you are not to drive traffic directly to one of these links your first of all two things if your ad if your ad does get approved it's going to go ahead and get shut down right it's going to shut down your ad account right so facebook does not like direct linking so you have to put a landing page in front of this link i'm going to go ahead and give you guys two examples of landing pages right one is called a pre-sale page it's called an avatorial Basically, what it is is a um, something that looks like this. This is an example of an avatorial, right? So the Kai Berry diet exposed, miracle diet, or scam. So what's going to happen is you're going to run a Facebook ad to this pre-sale page, and basically there's like the social proof, there's like testimonials, and then throughout this this article it looks like a blog article. There's literally going to be um, links, right? And those links are going to be driving to this to this affiliate link, right? So I'm going to have the links there um if you guys don't know how to do that um guys links in the description i have, I have uh uh you guys can get access to a course that teaches you how to do that and if you guys don't have a software the second link will also be click funnels which is what i used to actually create these um, number two is a capture page basically here's what a capture page is discover my eight week fat business system that cranks up calorie burn so you can lose weight fast and scope a beauty feminine body apps almost effortlessly it's actually a pretty good advertisement copy out of somebody just went to um, Google, right? So you can literally even swipe this copy, put it on your landing page, check out what this stuff is, and then get instant access. It's literally going to go ahead and send them. You're either going to collect a lead 
right? So you can do email marketing or you might not, you might just literally send them directly to the offer, uh, depending on what you want to do, right? So you can even do this. Now guys, read Facebook compliance. I'm not your daddy. I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that, but it's simply a couple of things like you need uh, the, uh, disclaimers, you need um, privacy policy, you need terms and conditions, you need all that stuff. Read the policies on Facebook. Make sure you're compliant with Facebook and then your ads will get approved, right? So now how do we actually create the ad? Now let's look into it. Now instead of uh, creating it from scratch, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I've actually done. Because a lot of people, they create these videos on um, things that they're actually not doing. I'm going to show you guys ads that I actually have up and running, right? So first and foremost is the campaign, right? So you're going to go ahead and start by creating a campaign. The way that you do that is you simply go to Facebook Ads Manager, and then you're going to go ahead and press Create, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a campaign. Now, what is the type of campaign that we're going to do? You're going to go ahead and put your campaign name in. Then I'm going to do Traffic, right? Um, eventually you can do conversions if you are, um, if you do have a pixel set up, but we don't have one set up, but these are all the type of campaigns we're going to do with traffic, right? We're going to get clicks to our landing page. Um, and then we're simply going to go ahead and press save to draft and here's my name, right? Uh, traffic campaign one, 10, eight, 18, right? Next, once we have our, uh, our campaign created, the next thing that we want to do is we want to do ad sets, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go and start an ad set. So I'm going to show you guys the first ad set that I created. And it's literally going to be right here. You're simply going to go and press create. Now, once you press create, you're simply going to be able to create an ad set, right? Um, and basically create new ad set. And then what you would do, right? I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what I did. It's, it's literally just going to add one of these right here, but it's going to be completely blank, right? Once it's completely bank, blank, you're just going to go ahead and press edit. So you're going to edit the name, and then you're just going to go ahead and edit the actual ad, ad set. All right, so just so we don't miss a beat, I'm going to go ahead and actually show you guys, right? So what we would do is we'd go ahead and press create, <clears throat> and then I'm just going to go ahead and use existing campaign. So you want to go ahead and use existing campaign right here, same campaign. And then create ad set. We're just going to go ahead and press save to draft, right? And then once we save to at draft, we're going to be able to pick all of this stuff, right? But instead of um, creating a new one, I'm just going to show you guys what I've already done. I will in a second. Thank you. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you guys what I've already done, right? So I'll press edit. And then this is what you're going to go ahead and get access to. So I always go ahead and do $5. You want to start with $5, right? And then next is as far as audience. Now, this is going to confuse a couple of people because this is a custom audience, right? But I'm going to show you guys how to do, um, how to pick an audience even if it's not custom. But this is a lookalike audience, guys. The money's in the lookalike audiences, right? Now, you guys got to study, right? So what age demographic um or are people who are trying to lose weight. Um, usually 40 to uh, 40 plus, right? And um, I'm doing women only because I'm targeting women. Now, basically, <laughs> to show you guys why I created affiliate marketing and digital marketing, I'm actually excluding these because I don't want people to get access to my ads and rip my ads. <laughs> um, and the last but not least, is edit placements, right? So where are we gonna go ahead and place these ads? I'm gonna go ahead and place them on Facebook newsfeed, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do Instagram newsfeed, and then last but not least, we're gonna do all devices, but only when connected to Wi-Fi. Now, guys, peop if people are on the go and they come and they're on Facebook really quick, and let's just say they're at the mall or something, and they come across your ad, they're not gonna go ahead and take action to actually buy your product. Now, only when connected to Wi-Fi means they are connected to Wi-Fi. So they're most likely at their home or somewhere that they can actually make a purchase, right? They're not um, somewhere that they're not going to be making a purchase. So I like to do only when connected to Wi-Fi. Now, we're going to do link clicks. And then what we're going to do is um, when you get charged, we're going to press more options. And then we're going to do, uh, there's going to be two options. Um, I'll just show you guys. It's going to be impression or there's going to be link clicks, cost per click, right? So that's what we've done, right? Now I'm going to show you guys two things. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, how to actually 
find um I'm going to show you guys how to do tar how to create a custom audience or how to create a look like audience and then I'm going to show you guys how to do targeting if you guys don't have access to this right so first and foremost we're going to go to as manager right we're going to go to um audiences right now how to create a look alike audience is you're simply going to create an audience and then we're going to create a custom audience right and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do customer file right so this is emails right you can upload emails so you can upload emails of people who have already made purchases before or you can upload emails of people who are leads different type of emails what this is going to be is this is going to go ahead and create a file right my specific file is 1200 people right so 12 these are 1200 people who have actually bought weight loss products now if you want to go ahead and actually create a lookalike audience the next step is create an audience once I actually uploaded that file I'm going to create an audience that I'm going to go ahead and create a lookalike audience right and then the source is going to be hold on custom audience I don't know why it's not coming up I apologize so the source is you're gonna go to other sources I don't know why I was looking at value base but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click your lookalike audience right so the customer list custom audience and then you're gonna go ahead and find a specific size audience size and I'll just do 1% of that and then location um, what I would do is I would do countries now pick specific countries right I'll do whatever countries you guys want to do your targeting for it. Then I'm going to go ahead and press create audience. Then it's going to go ahead and populate. It's going to wait. And then you have your look like audience, right? Then when I'm creating my ads, go back to ads manager. And go back to ad sets. Then when I'm creating my ads, I'm simply going to go ahead and, um, where are we? So when I'm creating my ads, I'm simply going to go to custom audiences and then we're simply just going to go ahead and add the custom audience that we just created, right? Which is a lookalike audience. Now what's going to happen is my audience size, because of my additional things that I've done, like 40 to 65 and then English speakers only, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is 1.2 million people, um, which gives me more than enough people to where I won't run out of people to advertise to. And it's really targeted because these are people who are like right basically they're using artificial intelligence to put your advertisement in front of people who are like people who have already made purchases of weight loss products now if you haven't came across um if you haven't came across uh people who or if you haven't came across some sort of list what i'm going to do is i'm going to do my um audience research so audience research would be something like let me see, um, we're gonna go to audience insight tools. And by the way guys, business.facebook.com, you wanna have a business manager account if you don't already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to influencers. I target influencers. What a lot of people would do, is I'll show you what a lot of people are gonna do. They're gonna go to, well it's not there anymore, but they're gonna, uh, target people like weight loss and lose weight and fitness they're not targeted so weight loss I want to put gurus so the hundred most influential people in health and fitness so I'm going to show you an example what I can do is so I've seen this guy before, Sean T, right? He's this uh, weight loss guy. He's an he's a trainer, right? So what I can do is if I don't have, so if I was creating, so I'll do interests and I'll do Sean T. 
I spelled that wrong. Sean T. Sean T. So Sean T is 86% women. He has a reach of 800,000 to 900,000 active users. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can target Sean T on Facebook, right? So what we're going to do is go to Ads Manager. This is if you don't have the data to be able to create lookalike audiences, right? So what I'm going to do is I have my campaign, right? Then I'm going to go ahead and create an ad set. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this ad set that we just created. So I'm going to press edit. I'm not going to do the rest of the stuff. I'm simply just going to go to the targeting part to show you guys. So what I would do is go to, I did all this other stuff already. I'm just going to go ahead and do detail targeting. And I'm going to do Sean T. We just looked him up. So Sean T, he has an audience size of 1.2 million people. Boom, my audience is 900 people. So what I would do is I'm not going to do it in here, but I'll do um, 40 to 65. I'm going to do my uh, countries that I want to do, which is tier one countries, uh, United States. I would do New Zealand, Australia, Canada, and, um, and Australia. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, edit placements. I already showed you the placements that I did. And then I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, uh, I'm going to do cost per click, right? Boom. So that's my targeting. Now, guys, you guys can basically check out a couple of influencers. You can try to target their audience. And... This brings me to this next point, right? Um, once you have one influencer, what you could do is you can literally do five different ad sets. The reason why people fail with Facebook ads is because they're not split testing. So what I would do is I would literally do one, two, three, four, five different ad sets, and each ad set could literally be targeting a different influencer, right? So you can find different articles like this. This isn't the only article out there, but you can find people within this space instead of just targeting people like weight loss or or um, fitness these broad ass things people are going to be more actually likely to actually um, take action on whatever it is you're offering if they're following some sort of influencer right so that's how we do our targeting um, and that's how we do our audience now next is the actual ad right so guys the money is is in the actual targeting, right? Because if you have the perfect ad, but you're not getting it in front of the right people, you're not going to make any money, right? So next is the actual ads. So an example, guys, is right here. So I'm just going to pull up my ad that I'm doing, right? So I'm actually going to do ad set number four. Edit. So um, and then again, you want to uh, create your ads, the ad set name. So that's the actual ad set. Then we're going to go to the ads. I'm going to just show you guys one of the ads that I'm doing, right? So these are both currently still running. So I'm showing you guys these are actually running. And I'll show you the stats in a second. But let's actually look at the ad. So we're going to press edit. Now, guys, first and foremost, you need a fan page, right? So my fan page is basically congruent with weight loss, weight loss hacks, right? It's a fan page. I created a fan page. Boom, simple. Next is the actual ad image. Now, guys, just to show you guys, um, I optimize my Facebook ads, right? So you want to go ahead and optimize by these things and these things first, right? So first, you're going to go ahead and split test images. Then you're going to go ahead and split test headlines. And then you're going to split test the actual text because the first thing that people look at when they look at an ad when they're when they're scrolling on their feed is the image so you're gonna split test a couple of images for each ad set right so if I have one ad set then I'm gonna split test maybe five images whichever one and I'll break down what actual data to look for to optimize your advertisement in a second but first we're gonna break down this ad next so boom they looked at my image next thing they're gonna look at should I continue reading is the headline controversial this is going to piss off health boom so I just put, this is going to piss off. Guys, people don't do this. People don't show you the ads that they're actually running. Now, the reason why I'm willing to show you guys these ads is because most likely these are going to ch change because this is in the beginner phase. So I wouldn't recommend ripping my ads. This is why. And what I mean by ripping my ads is copying this verbatim. 
because these ads, my winning ads, aren't going to be these ads. I'm going to optimize, optimize, optimize. I'm going to switch up the image. I'm going to switch up the um, headlines. I'm going to switch up the ad text. So my winning ad, my actual profitable ad, is going to be the ad that I continue to split test, optimize, 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 optimize. And eventually I came with a winning image. I came with a winning um, I came with a winning uh, headline and a winning text. So this isn't the winning ad, guys. This is one of the ads that I'm split testing right now. So feel free to copy it, but it's not profitable yet. So, um, all right. So next image. I'm going to split test the image, and I'm going to actually keep the head, the headline, and I'm going to keep the text the same, right? Once I find a winning image, then I'm going to go ahead and split test. I'm going to keep the same image, and I'm going to keep the same text. Then I'm going to split test my headline, right? Then once I figure out which headline is doing the best then I'm gonna go ahead and split test my my um ad text once I have the perfect fucking ad then I'm gonna go ahead and actually split test my audiences right so I'm gonna put the best ad and I'm gonna do different audiences and then once I find that winner I'm just gonna scale that bitch the fuck up and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of money right so let's break this down uh, my initial thought process before I even uh, did any split testing was this right so we did an image now, if you guys are wondering how to create these Facebook ad images, um, you can either go to Fiverr and have people create them for you, or you can create them yourself. I use Canva, right? So I just found this image of this weird-ass fruit, right? Then I found this girl who has a nice body, and then I have this red thing. Now, you guys, just get creative. Um, the best way to find winning ads is go on Facebook, or excuse me, go on Google and type in ads. And guys, you never know which one is going to do the best. That's why you want to do split testing, 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 testing. If there's anything that you get through your head, I want you guys to understand that you guys want to do a lot of testing. So um, what's going to happen is, guys, the objective is you want to have a high click-through rate. A high click-through rate means out of 100 people, if five people decide to click on my ad, that's a 5% click-through rate, right? The lower your click-through rate, the more you're going to be paying for your advertisement, the less chance you are of profiting. So the more people actually see your ad and click through your ad, um, the more chances you're going to go ahead and actually get results, right? So people actually already shared this, right? Two shares. It's pretty cool. So um, let's take a look at this. So um, I'm sure a lot of people, oh, okay. So weird discovery. Avoiding this one veggie forced Sharon to shed 41 pounds of pure fat, right? So guys, one thing that you can't do is you can't put statements like, are you tired of struggling with weight loss? This sentence right here is against Facebook policies. You cannot directly call people out, right? So the reason why these ads have been approved is because I've done my due diligence and I know the weight loss, or excuse me, not weight loss, just terms and policies, right? So weird discovery. Um, avoiding this one veggie. What is this one veggie? They're going to look at this and they're going to be like, what the hell is that, right? Now, guys, to be honest with you, this has nothing to do with my product. I'm simply just trying to get them to my landing page, right? But it is congruent because it is weight loss. And then the actual product that I'm selling is talking about avoiding a veggie. So um, you want it to be congruent, but you want to go ahead and increase the click-through rate. So for, in, uh, excuse me, for Sharon to shed 41 pounds of pure fat, they're going to be like, what? So that builds curiosity, guys. To get a, to, all right. Let me explain this process, right? Image and headline is high click-through rate, right? You get people to stop. You get people to look at your, your, your offer. Next is the actual text. Now, once they read the text, you want to have something that builds curiosity and then a strong call to action. So this is curiosity, right? They can't answer this question themselves. If they can answer the question themselves, they're not going to click through on your ad. Let me give you an example. So if I said, if you drink more water and lose cucumbers, uh, or excuse me, and add cucumbers to your diet, you'll lose weight. Click, click learn more to learn more. You already gave them the answer to their problem, right? So if you say we're discovery, avoiding this one veggie for Sharon, and who's Sharon, to lose, shed 41 pounds of pure fat, what? They're thinking, what veggie, right? 41 pounds, Forster. So... Weird discovery, they're simply going to go ahead and click the ad because they can't answer that in their head. Same thing with uh, any other niche, guys. Any other niche is the same thing, right? 
if, if, if I was doing like a hair loss for men, I would say this weird discovery, um, avoiding this one food, um, allowed Bill to, to thicken his hair and stop his, his uh, hair loss or whatever, right? <laughs> And then we're simply going to go to have a strong call to action. You guys always want to have a call to action. You want to tell people don't naturally know what to do. So you want to tell them what to do. So click the learn more button to hear the full story before it's gone forever. Next is the headline controversial. This is going to piss off health professionals, right? So controversy and things along that nature is going to be like, what? What the hell is this? So guys, the whole thing, guys, is to build curiosity and to capture people's attention with your image and your headline, build curiosity, have a strong call to action, and then get them to your landing page, right? Now guys, what you think may be the winner might not be the winner. So how do we tell if this is a good Facebook ad or not, right? So this is how we're gonna go ahead and optimize, right? So that's creating the, the, that's what you guys do. The next step, guys, after you actually create the ad is to publish the ad, right? So I showed you guys the campaign, I showed you guys the ads, I showed you guys of the ad sets next is these things right so the ads the ad sets we're not going to do one specifically so we're going to see all the ads right so right now i'm in the optimization uh, phase right so here's 10 different ads right so people are like what the fuck you're running 10 ads at one time yes now the strategy i'm using is i'm running two ads per five dollar ad set so what that what that means is i'm paying i'm spending two dollars and fifty cents per day per ad right and you want to go ahead and kill the losers scale the winners right so what i'm doing is i run them for about 28 to excuse me 24 to 48 hours i'll run them then i'll look at the data i'll kill the losers and then i'll continue with the the, the winners then what i'm doing right now is i'm split testing for the actual image right so i'm seeing what images have the highest click through rate then I'm going to do what I said before. I'm going to go ahead and um, use the same, the winning image, but then I'm going to go ahead and split test the headline. Then I'm going to do the same winning image and winning headline, and I'm going to split test the ad text. Then I'm going to have a winning ad that's profitable, Then I'm going to scale it up, and I'm going to make a shit ton of money, right? So once you have all these ads running, right, bid strategy, link, link clicks, right, budget $5 a day. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, uh, check out the results so we're gonna keep on scrolling now what are we looking for now I have a custom right and you always want to make sure you're looking at a couple of things right number one is the cost per click but more importantly what's more important than cost per click is and you guys can find the cost per click in the performance and the default right so the cost per click over here is going to be 38 cents 49 cents 40 cents. So if you guys notice, I got eight clicks at 38 cents, guys. That's incredible, right? That's really good. Now you're probably thinking, why'd you shut off this ad that has 36 cents? Because it had 40. I'll show you guys in a second. So I'll go to um, my custom one that I created. Now, if you guys want to know how to create a custom one, you simply go to custom columns. And then you go to save as preset. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add all these extra things that I wanna be looking at, right? All these things, all the things that you wanna look at. And then you're gonna go ahead and press apply. And then you'll have that audience. So I'll just show you guys an example. So what I'm looking at in this specific one is the cost per result, which is the cost per click, right? The budget, the amount spent, the ends, relevant score, frequency, unique click, um, link clicks, unique click through rate, and then um, yeah, that's it, right? So, why did I turn this one off? Because, guys, the click through rate, it only had one click. So, yeah, the click was at 36 cents, but literally what happened was is the click through rate was uh, 1%. So, if I left this on, literally the next click was going to be extremely high because the click through rate was so low. So, um, it would it would have averaged out over time. So, what that means is that the ad wasn't doing well because I had a, a low click through rate. Now guys, what I do is I look at the unique click through rate, and then if you click right here, it's gonna go ahead and show you guys. So you you can either organize from low to high or from high to low. The first thing I look at to see if I add a successful is the click through rate. Now what that means, guys, now some people may say, oh, if it has a low uh, cost per click. But guys, believe it or not, right over here, the cost per click 
is irrelevant when you're when it comes to optimizing right now if you have a low cost per click let's just say for some odd reason right my click through rate wasn't that much but i had an ad that was literally had like 10 cents um cost per click i'm going to leave the ad running right because it might be a profitable ad but as far as optimization purposes what's important is things like your click through rate right so 6% this is my winning ad my click through rate is 6 point thirteen percent right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this specific image and then I'm gonna go ahead and start optimizing with this image so I'm gonna use this image and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, I'm gonna go ahead and op I'm gonna optimize the um, the headline right and then once I find a winning uh, headline I'm simply gonna go ahead and basically f use five different images so with the five different images, they're going to be the same image. They're going to be this winning image. But then I'm going to go ahead and optimize for the headline. And then whichever one out of those images and those headlines have the highest click-through rate, I know that's the best headline, right? Because based off of the amount of people who have seen it, right, impressions. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. So what impressions means, guys, is basically the amount of times your ad was displayed, right? Reach means the amount of people who have actually seen your ad, right? So um, basically 323 people have seen this, right? So out of 100 impressions, out of 100 impressions, that means if I have a 6% click-through rate, let's go back to my custom one. If I have a 6% click-through rate, that means out of 100 out of a hundred people who have seen my ad, six people click on it, which is really good. That's six percent click through rate. So that's what you want to look at. Whichever one has the highest click through rate, then you want to go ahead and get that that ad, that image, and then you want to go ahead and split test it. Then whichever one has the highest click through rate out of the actual um, uh, headlines, you want to go ahead and optimize that one. And then you want to go ahead and continue to optimize, continue to optimize. Now, guys, that's only one portion of this right so this is the actual um facebook ad side but you also need to optimize your sales funnels you need to optimize your pre-sale pages you need to optimize all that stuff so with that being said if you guys don't know how to create pre-sale pages how to create landing pages right guys it doesn't matter if you know how to create a uh, high quality traffic if your back end portion isn't converting then you're not going to make money right so the first link in the description will actually be you'll be able to get access to the course. Number two, if you guys want access to, um, if you guys want access to uh, the software that I use to create these pre-sale pages, then you guys can actually click the second link in the description and um, you guys can get access to a training as well, right? But with that being said, that is how you create a Facebook ad for affiliate marketing for weight loss products or any products, guys. You start with a campaign, then you create an ad set then you create an ad and then you want to create multiple variations then you want to split test you want to look at your data right look at your data and whichever one has the best data you want to continue to optimize with the winners and then once you have one that's profitable the only way that you're going to be able to see if it's profitable is actually looking at your affiliate marketing offers and you want to see okay if I'm spending nine dollars but I'm gaining thirty dollars okay it's a profitable ad I can scale that ad boom you make money Everybody wins. Everybody's happy, right? So, guys, this is, I believe, the best um, Facebook ads tutorial for affiliate marketing that's out there. If you agree, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that, uh, um, share it with somebody, right? Share it with somebody who needs this. Share it with your friends, your family, anybody who's in this industry because everybody needs this. Everybody needs to learn how to do Facebook ads if they want to be successful within affiliate marketing. Well, all right. So, guys, so look, we, d we did Facebook ads. That, that was a pretty good video, I think. Hopefully you thought it was good too, but um, basically the name of the game, guys, is split testing, split testing, split testing, split testing. Knowing your numbers, what are you looking for? You're looking for a click-through rate. Uh, you're looking to basically pique people's curiosity, get your ads in front of the right audience, and the only way you're gonna know whether it's the right audience or not is if you look at your data, right? So I like those look-alike audiences. If you guys don't have the luxury, of having custom audiences that you can create look-alike audiences with, 
Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and target people and I stated before you guys can target like those influencers or anything along those lines, right? So hit that subscribers button, hit that notifications bell if you haven't already to join the family. As stated before, my number one recommendation to make money online will be the first link in the description, which will basically teach you guys how to do all that, plus Facebook ads, plus Google AdWords, and all that extra stuff, right? And if you guys want the software that I used to create my pre-sale pages and my landing pages, it'll be the second link in the description. I appreciate you guys. Your boy is back. Yes, your boy is back. Um, and the, just, just know that the next uh, up-and-coming content is going to be fire as hell, right? But I appreciate you guys. Wolf Entourage. Let's get this fucking money. I will see you on the next video. Eric Ellis Jr. checking out.